All right, guys, well, we're here back in action. I'm ready to uh, put this new neon green long tentacle anemone in this 35 gallon tank. Here's that rose bubble tip anemone now a little bit later that it's came out of that rock cubby. Looking top notch, pretty, pretty gassed about that. It uh, looks like it's going to stay where I placed it in that piece of live rock. We got this other rose bubble tip anemone is doing okay as well. Uh, looks like he's mounted himself there as well on this piece of live rock so I'm pretty happy about that. Place this little piece of Montipora, red Montipora here on top of this live rock. Little frag here that wasn't doing so well. Just place it on in this tank here. Here's that uh, other anemone here. It's like a yellowy and green, like white anemone. Pretty nice color to it. Pretty vibrant as well. And that guy originally I placed uh, on that third piece of live rock that we had in here that I now took out. Um, he moved his way off of that piece and just kind of floating around the tank so he's it's hanging out right here just chilling out and uh, we're pretty much ready to put in this uh, this new anemone guys I'm kind of undecided still where I'm gonna place it uh, these LEDs that I got on the tank originally I had four I sold the one of them so now I only got three left so obviously it's kind of awkward shape but I was helping out another another uh, fellow reefer that was looking for another PAR 38 bulb full spectrum. And these were pretty much my old LEDs. And now I got the full spectrum LEDs units which are much nicer built in timer or anything. But I started my tank with these. I knew they are good to go and they work. So that's why I put them on this tank since I still had them kicking around. Originally I had 10. And as you can see I only have 3. So I actually had 10 of those same bulbs over this 125 gallon six foot tank approximately at least two years ago and uh, so guys I guess let's get ready to rock we'll put this uh, green bubble tip anemone into the tank here it is inside the bucket here and I guess I gotta just manhandle this bad boy and place it inside the tank and we'll just play it by ear where I'm gonna place it but for the most part um, I gotta put it on a piece of rock so I'm thinking let's just place it on this rock right now Hopefully it can just manhandle that whole rock, even just take over that corner. I noticed the uh, clownfish are chilling out over here as well. So maybe it's just can all tie in. We'll get the anemone on that rock. We'll get the anemone or the uh, clownfish inside the anemone. And we'll still have some space and whatnot for the nasal tang to swim around and do his thing and not get so crowded. So let's start off and uh, let's get this bad boy out of the tank here. So I'm just trying to get this guy with my hand myself, not really too excited about this. I think for the most part as long as I don't touch the tentacles I might be okay. Oh man I'm not looking forward to doing this. Um, this guy's going to slip out of my hand for sure. Alright let's do this. All right, I just did it. Look at this beast. Wow. So hopefully, please, please mount yourself on this live rock right here. There you go. There you go, buddy. Hope you're all right. Hope you like your new home. Hopefully you can mount your stool on this piece of live rock over here. Maybe if I turn you around a bit. There we go. I'll do one of these. Try to wedge it up on that piece of live rock so it's kind of forced to kind of mount itself on that piece of rock. That's the game plan. Mount yourself on that rock. I know it's kind of squished along the front, but once it mounts itself onto that rock, we'll be able to pull it back. So, guys, there's the long tip neon green anemone. 
It's a huge size, at least six to eight inches, if not a little bit bigger. Beautiful color, I'm loving it. It's like a white and yellow and green and blue and some purpley spots on it. It's uh, pr probably super hard to tell, but that's what I'm looking at out of my eyes right here. Really nice color, big mouth, big foot here, big stool. And I don't doubt it, within no time it's gonna mount itself onto this live rock. And hopefully we get these clownfish hosting inside of it as well. And uh, stay tuned guys, Leo Potzel, that's the channel. You know what it is, go ahead and subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. This is some raw footage behind the scenes of the 35 gallon tank update. Just giving you guys the heads up on what's going on. Um, where's that piece of live rock? Oh yeah, that piece of live rock that I took out of there, out of the 35 gallon tank. I put it in my sump for now. There was, there was not enough room in here, I felt, in the 35 gallon, so I figured I'd just take it out and put it in my sump filtration. So guys, that's what's up. Stay tuned, Leo Pot, so you know what it is. More videos like this. Um, I'm thinking in the next few weeks or in a couple of days or whatever, once these anemones get a little bit uh, used to the tank and they look like they're healthy and they're going to be staying with us for quite some time, we might actually do it, um, try to frag one of these anemones. We'll pick one that looks like a half decent size that I wouldn't mind maybe losing, you know, from uh, trial and error. But we might try to get a razor blade cut one of these anemones in half and hopefully we can uh, get them to multiply and have uh, two anemones just out of the one by fragging it. So stay tuned for that guys, I'm sure that will be pretty excited, I definitely want to stay tuned for that guys. Leo Potzel, you know what it is guys, Leo Potzel and uh, until next time man.